I, I don't know that I've met anyone who has a greater kind of positivity and sort of can-do attitude to life than Peter. He's, he's, he's quite extraordinary. One of the most determined, hard-working people I've ever come across. Um, you do everything you say you will do and more. But I can't think of a more worthy recipient of this award. I've had the absolute privilege of working with you for over eight years. You've been a fantastic mentor to me. I don't think we'll ever see another agency dominate the New Zealand industry the way Saatchi's did under Peter's leadership. I think one thing that sticks with me that has um, stuck with you for all these years is actually the word tenacity. I think quite often that tenacity has actually led to some of the great campaigns and client relationships. If you want a really good example of Peter, right, this is the this is sort of the, the balls out Peter that we all just had to sort of like fall in behind, it was many years ago, Air New Zealand was undergoing privatisation, there was a massive campaign to be done. Unfortunately, we weren't doing it. It was another agency. And so in a ballsy bloody move, he phoned up the guy who was leading the whole uh, pitch process and said, look, it's a shame that uh, we couldn't get, you know, we couldn't get to uh, do the work because I've got to say, we have this amazing campaign right here that you'd really love and you, you owe it to yourself to come and see it. And this guy, knowing that he wasn't too happy with what he'd seen, said, okay, I'll be, I'll be in in the afternoon, I'll come in and have a look at it. And then Peter came running down the stairs going, fuck, 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 fuck. Um, look, I've got these guys coming in. We've got a cracker campaign. We've got, we've got three hours. I've told them it's fantastic. And, and it was like three or four hours later, we had this entire campaign crap and we won the business. That's the sort of ballsiness that Pete is famous for. And I miss that hugely. And I remember the first time we came to your office and I stood outside and I said to Karen, my marketing assistant, this is going to be very expensive and you didn't take long to prove that. And what do I remember about Peter? Well, everyone knows that he is one of the most fastidious people in the world. Uh, his standards are second to none. We're not allowed to have biro pens here, they're just not high standard enough. His office was always immaculate and we've left it actually as a bit of a shrine to him since he's left. Um, do you want to guys want to come and have a bit of a look at it? Come with me. You know, he really was the master, and this is where all the action happened. Oh, f Oh, f Sorry, mate. Hey, listen, uh, seriously. Sorry, sorry, mate. Sorry. I don't think you need to see that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Congratulations, Peter. Extremely well deserved. From now on in, you can eat as many donuts as you like, as many ham rolls as you like. A huge congratulations from me and from everybody else at Assignment Group. You've got so many great ideas you're putting into the marketplace, and uh, I just truly really watch in awe of what you're doing. You know, you are you're a clever bastard, Peter. If I had a glass of Verve Clicquot, I would cheers you right now. It's been an absolute blast, and I can't thank you enough for the wonderful times you had together. So mate, look, everyone's here to congratulate you and uh, I'm honour you and it's richly deserved. Have a fantastic night and I promise you I'll get that room cleaned up. Cheers mate.